Here we're going to sketch the graph of f of x equals x squared if the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 1, and f of x equals 1 if the absolute value of x is greater than 1. So the absolute value of x is going to determine uh, which of the function values are used. Remember the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on the number line. So we can fill in the values of the absolute value of x. We notice that the absolute value of x equals 1 uh, at x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. At these two points, we will uh, evaluate both functions uh, because um, the domain is all real numbers. We don't want to have a gap um, between um, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1, or x equals 1 and x equals 2. The difference is that one of the values will be plotted with an open circle, the other with a closed circle, to indicate that the, that particular point is or is not included. So as we start, uh, all of the values between negative 4 and negative 2 have absolute values greater than 1, so their y value is 1. And we're also going to plot um, negative 1, 1, but with an open circle. I'll just use parentheses there. So I'll have negative 4, 1, negative 3, 1, negative 2, 1, and an open circle at negative 1, 1. This part of the graph is actually a horizontal ray. Um, starting at negative 1, 1, and going to the left. Now, for the values of x, negative 1, 0, and 1, we're going to use the first definition. And so when I do that, I get 1 squared, which is 1, 0 squared, which is 0, and 1 squared, which is 1. Up here, this should have been a negative 1 squared. And notice that one of the points on the graph is, in fact, negative 1, 1, because this, the point that we are getting by plugging in negative 1, 1 from the first definition is now part of the graph. So I fill in the negative 1, 1. I also fill in 0, 0, and 1, 0. Now, not only are those three points on the graph, but all the values between x equals negative 1 and 1 follow the same rule, and we know that y equals x squared will be a parabola. Otherwise, you can plot more points between negative 1 and 1 to get the shape. Now, at x equals 1, since the absolute value of 1 is 1, we would also plot the, or compute, the y value associated with the second definition, just so that we ha include all x values. So at this point, I would generally put an open circle at 1, 1. But since we already have a closed circle, that is not necessary. Now, for the values between 2 and 6, the absolute value is greater than 1. So all of those y values are also 1. 
So we, I will just put a little blue circle around this point one one, and we also have shaded circles to indicate those points are included. So all of the values of x, including those between 1 and 2, have y values that are equal to 1. Notice that the domain of this function is all real numbers, but only a portion is shown in the graph. Uh, the arrows are used to help strengthen that idea.